in a room with Scarlett Johansson. I am scared because I ain't Johansson. I mean, we're supposed to be on some kind of date, but the vials in the room say something else happening, which ain't great. I'm actually at a bad state of mental because I am actually getting set on mental. Did I just rhyme the two words with the same? Maybe, but that's lame and you're gay. Hello everyone, my name is Stonesy Boy and welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying. Today I'm in here with this guy, Scarlet, who is graciously voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. So that's great. If it makes you feel better, I hope you catch somebody. You sure? If you're the only one who can make the cure, then it might be better if you stay back. No thanks! There's no way I'm letting you out there alone. I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I've just got this feeling that I'd be pretty good at collecting unwilling zombie specimens. Yep, so you're a spy. That is weird, but in this case, you dropped absolutely correct. Some memories have some intact, even if they kept below the surface. Well, just let's get on with this. We went back up to the surface. Everywhere we look is overrun by zombies. We can stand the ch chance uh, against the roof. We spend the day trying to split them up, and we're well searching for lone wolves. Brains, bra brains, bananas. We're in luck. We finally got an isolated sample. How are we supposed to bring them in, though? One bite, and we're finished. I've got just a thing. Got to pull out a pair of brass knuckles. Where did you even get that? Is that really important right now? You mind looking the other way for a second? It's embarrassing. Sure, Scarlet. Turn around. Brains, bananas. I hope your health insurance covers this. Blah. One more with feeling. Are we the bad guys? We dragged them back to the mansion, playing careful attention to not run into any more of the zombies running amok. Scarlet opened a hidden trap door in the games room, and I pulled Forward's unconscious body in. Oh fuck! My hand slipped, causing Forward's body to tumble down the stairs. <laughs> he just kept on going and going. I know, I know, I'll get him. Better get him quick. We're not going to have a live specimen. Luckily, I managed to catch him pretty quickly. We put him on the operating table for Scarlet to analyze. Interesting. What's up, Scarlet? It's virus. It's pretty clear it's man made. Even more interesting is that it looks like something I would make. Uh, not that I ever make a zombie virus. Stay close you here. <laughs> uh, yes, you have. It's kind of cute how you try to hide it. But my character isn't realizing, how would she remember? I'm the only one with my memories back, and same thing with Ali. So, uh, so Scarlet's a spy. Cat, you there? Weird. I thought Cat was supposed to be able to hear us from anywhere on the island. Maybe there's one, no microphones all the way down here. I guess so. I was going to tell her we've got a cure now. Sweet, great luck, Scarlet. You bet I did. We administered the cure four and then went back upstairs together. Cat, you there? What's up, Scarlet? I've been waiting hours for you guys. You two done yet? We've got a cure. We got the cure now. We need your people's help to help administer it. We'll be right on it. Lay low for now. We're coming to get you. In the meantime, stick as you here. How about you tell me about yourself? It'd be my pleasure. With Cat's help, we managed to quote the zombie plague. It was just enough time left in the day. Lovely dinner with Scarlet. With that, I went for the night walk with Allie for somewhere safe, prying eyes. You should buy a girl dinner first before you murder her in the woods, you know. I think I found a way to bring the other's memories back. You found their lab, didn't you? Pretty much. Sweet. I wasn't sure how to get back there after it shipped us out of here. It's a huge win. So where is it? There's a secret trap door in the games room. You have to press a hidden panel in the wall. That said, how are we supposed to get in without being seen? There's cameras everywhere, and Scarlet and I are only allowed to enter because of the whole pandemic. Don't worry about that. I've got an inside man. Four is going to be helping us override a few cameras and microphones in the mansion of all the recordings. Four? That way we can get in and stay inside long enough to get their memories back without raising any sort of fuss. The brother that we KO'd today down the stairs. What's that look for? What's that look for? I'm surprised he's still standing up today, to be honest. I want to work with people who won't go out easy. That was for always working with you? Nope, never till now. We can't afford to refuse his help. We, I've had him prove he's trustworthy. Don't worry, you can count on him. All right, if you say so. Anyway, we have everything we need for the first part of the plan. Have our trip down memory lane together? Sounds like a plan. Uh-oh. 
You guys have to see this. Trust me. Ali put her hand against the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted, reveal winding staircase forward, became an immediate intimidately and repeated familiar with did Ali prove Ford's trust before or after his little trip on the stairs? <clears throat> well, you guys found my secret spot already? I'm sorry, what? I found this place this morning. I sat near the top of the stairs and played with it a while. And it was more fun when I played in the dark. Hold me back, Stickles, you here. I'm about to beat the fuck out of her. I'll explain this. I'll explain the situation when we walk down the stairs. Sure enough, there is skeptical, except for Scarlet. Of course, because Scarlet is the spy. Okay, so your story makes a little more sense when you come down here. We walk towards the machines and mixture and all in fear. The marketing of the machine. My father's. The marketing of these machines. My father's company made these. Why? They didn't. They didn't. Or they didn't. Not my baby. I'm sorry, everyone. I wish I had to say it wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why we're being kept here, or why they did the show over and over. But I know that if we don't escape in fast, they're going to kill us sooner or later. Stickles, you're here. We are going to do our best to make sure all of us are going to stay out of here alive. Stonesy, why aren't you saying Stickles, you're here anymore? Well, that's because that was the first time I've ever said it. Or second time. See every other Stickles, you here? That's been a recording. It's been with the show, you fools. They've been brainwashed. So every time they say my name, it's just my recording of me saying, Stickles, you here. Don't you know? It's been a, the recording, too. I've been along with it. I'm also a spy. Hee <laughs> hee. But I'm also the main character. And, 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 shut up. Anyways. But to do that, we need you to trust me. So let's deal with what? I need you to trust me enough to step back into the tanks they kept you in. First escape we all need of us to have our memories back, otherwise you won't trust us enough. I'd have to be quite foolish just to step into the tank just because someone said so. Violet. Violet, you can trust her. Excuse me? I know she's telling the truth about this machine because I built this. Ellie. This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. We've got... We've got to know each other quite a few times by now. It's a... It's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad that the machine works. Maybe one day we'll put this juice to the way it should be. All right, I'll trust you. All right, I'll trust you. And just walk back into the machine. Thank you, Violet. I know it'd be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that would have had your name on it. Go into it. And then Stickles you here and I will start the reversal process. I do hope this works. It should. It might hurt a bit. Do spare me from the details, please. Scar and Violet walked into their respective machines. I don't really get it, but I trust you, Stickles you here. And besides, I got a thing for big things that are made out of metal. They're like a mecha. I guess. Is this kind of hurt? It is. I'm sorry, you. Don't be sticking in here. I never you want to lie to me. It makes me feel even more sure I trust you. Here we go, Yui. Let's do this. All right, they're in their tanks. Let's do this. Stickles you here. On it. On it. On it. It was necessary for all, all of us. Their screams and reversal process were almost more than I could take. Allie and I covered our ears as violence guard Yui to remember the years of memories and matters of minutes. After doing all this, we got her get, getting out of here. Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Tara stepped out of the tanks after what it meant was like hours again. Guys, you okay? This probably isn't the time to mention it, but I made a bet with Thor about what would happen if they got the memories back. What'd you bet? I'm gonna watch from a safer distance if you don't mind. Hmm? Looks like I can kill the. Looks to kill the girls who would have gone out of the tanks would have killed me several times. They ran to me yelling and screaming. You five timing you five timing little cheater. Wait, I can explain I too late, they're all on me like hyenas. Ah! Now that we all come down, how do we go over the escape plan? It better be good, Ollie. For your sake, Stickles you here. Out with the tent. Alright, listen up. Over the next hour. Over the next hour, I'll explain her plan from start to finish. 
So that means the best we got. If this is our plan, we're doomed. Oh, because I went out with every single one of them. You five-timing little cheater. I get it. Congrats, Stickles, you're here. You made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for their money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's before we got the zombies involved, believe it or not. I'm glad to hear that. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? Too early to say. I figure it's best to make things seem uncertain as possible and not get too focused on any one girl. Got it said that getting low ratings during the show would end up with them shutting it down early. If that happened this time, then game over. The only reason why they're able to make these movies right now is because I always machine glitched out. Who knows if that would ever happen again. There's no room for error. Too, You're too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there, Cat. I like the, I like the sound of that. But you know what I like even more? Drama. What better to start that fire than a full day day with another woman? If it ain't broke... So, who's it gonna be? Have you ever noticed that there's only one room in the mansion that's locked? Nope, not even a bit. Really? It's right by the games room. It's not even a hidden one. I'm stuck. I didn't understand why you even stuck here all this time. I was snooping around at night looking for snacks and I saw a cat open it using a black key in the. What? What? Wait! Hold up, hold up. I'm sorry. I was into it for a second, but... What? What the fuck? Rats, rats. We are the rats. Shout out to the phone and I'll meet you, man. Michael, it's your birthday today. Come on, baby. It's party time. And Michael, hey, we are born this year. Motherfucker, it's time to cheer. Like, rats, rats. We are the rats. Rats, rats. Sorry, I fucking love this song. Editing me. Put up rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Put into vials and put to max. Michael, it's your birthday today. Don't know who you are today, but Michael, baby, you were born this year. Dance around and dance with cheer. Rats, 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 rats. We are a rat. Put into test objects and made to vent. Michael, it's your birthday today. We're all put test in lovely way. And Michael, we're all day at fourth to date. Trust me, baby, it's not too late. Fuck yeah, I love this song. Sorry. I should not have interrupted this sad moment, or uh, this action-packed moment with that, but like, damn. Good song. I was stepping around and night looking for snacks. I saw a cat open it, he's black key, and she grabbed the key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key, I've seen her use the same key in both mansion, as well as in the other buildings. Like, it's pretty good to get your hands on that. Exactly. If you can me that key for even a minute, I can make a mold out of it, but we can use a duplicate key. I bet it would be pretty helpful for helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. That's awesome, but wouldn't Cat notice her master key is going missing? You're absolutely right, especially if you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt coming. But if you, it won't be you or I taking it. Hmm? So I ask you to take Yui on a date. Let me go get Yui. By the end of the tonight, you'll both understand why I was due to you two. They say sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Trust me, Stickles, you here when I ever been wrong. You can list every single date we've been on as evidence. Those don't count. Yui, there's just something about her, you know? We'll make it happen. It's the first date since getting all the girls' memories back. We went for a walk out in the woods the same date that we, had, we truly had met again for the first time. It's a little awkward at first, figuring out how to not give a way that we knew we were on camera, but we figured it out pretty quick. It's so nice to see you again, Stickles, you here. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, I gotta be fake, hasn't it? It must be. To be honest, I feel now like things are going to be a little over my head. The show, meeting you again, everything, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything's just moving a little too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything is alright. Like I know it's gonna be okay. Would it be okay if I spent a day this way? She leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, Yui. Wait a minute. What about getting the master key? Ah, I can tell from your face that you're thinking about it. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Bun, bun, bun. Bun, bun, bun! Mama bun, bun darted from a nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy! She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible to not smile. Almost forgot! 
Bun, bun, bun. Bun. Bun, bun, left out of her arms and dashed towards the mansion. And with that out of the way, how could we talk her a little longer? What just happened? We reached out for my hand and then held it tight. I'd like that. Or I'd like that. We walked around, talked for hours. Then we took breaks. We laid next to each other in the grass, talking about anything and everything. Yui's a lovely girl. At times, I remember how I die or the situation we were in, and I couldn't help but freeze up. And with Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Even when we couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she always found a way to comfort me despite that. In turn, make her smile made it feel lighter than air. Life with her would be wonderful. If I've not to make sure it get us all out of here safe. Stickles, you here? Yeah. I love you, Stickles, you here. Hope we can spend another day together just like this soon. Can't wait for that day. I'll be counting these days now and then. We walked back to the mansion together, hand in hand. Then we went our separate ways. Stickles, you here? You would not believe what happened to me today. What happened, cat? I got attacked by some kind of forest monster. There's at least ten feet tall and monster teeth and there's at least five of them. Took everything I had not to plan. Luckily I managed to fight them all without any permanent injury. I made sure that Ford didn't leave the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. Yeah, that's good to know. This is the worst run yet. What do you mean by that? Oh nothing, I'm just had a long day. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have a chance. Five forest beasts is nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all, cat. Forest beasts affect one in ten people. It could happen to you. Right, right. I'll see you later, Stickles, you here. Or Stickles, you here. Good night, Stickles, you here. See, because we're on the show. Mission success! I can't believe that worked. How did you train a bunny to do all that? I had all things to special training last night. I may have made a few contracts with new devils from the forest, but... I'm sorry, what? I'm half kin. Don't worry about it. Which half? Are the keys ready to use? Not yet. Which well, such, but I'm gonna have to take a little longer to make sure plaster to set. Where'd you get the plaster from, by the way? Where'd you get the plaster from, by the way? Believe me, knowing more about how we got it will not make you any happier as a person. I'm cool with not knowing. Anyway, the keys will probably be able, usable by tomorrow morning. We have to have it to the next day by then. We'll test. I'll test them out as soon as we can get tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go, team. How about? How about you let the rest of the girls do now? Stickles, you here? Or disable the audio recordings of the house at night so we have a good talk back up here. I'll let them know. I'll walk back upstairs, back to the mansion. Where are they? Ah, I can hear some sounds from the kitchen. Make my way over. Hey, Violet. How are you? Goodness, apologies, Stickles, you're here. I didn't see you there. You seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides to say, hundreds of different versions of memories of the same week. I'm worried for the people back home. You has her brothers to worry about. Oh, she has tried not to burden anyone with that feeling. Everyone has family out there who knows about what happened to them without last. Well, however long we've been trapped here. I have never gotten along with my parents that well, but even so, I must be worried sick. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet, and that's where they're going to be happy, so see you again. You're right, Stickles, you here. There is no way you could know that for sure, could you? I guess... I guess so, but you gotta believe, right? I just gotta believe. I suppose you're all right once again, Stickles, you here. Then we finally escaped the dreadful place. I'm going to hold them so tight. It's kind of funny. What is, Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Yeah, you did. Her name was Viola. That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You know the type. She came first in every, just about everything while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I tried to call her my sister. Then there was an accident. She she saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could, and in the end, she was hit before I was, and she died for it. So sorry, Violet. I. Before then, I had no problem being in second place to her. But for her sake, for just about that one time, I wish I had come in first. I'm just oversharing, aren't I? I apologize. I, it's been a... It's okay, Violet. Just say that what you're feeling. You're kind, Stickles, you're here. There's nothing I do about you, you know? After Violet died, I did my very best to live up to the standards she set for my parents. 
I could probably guess how well that went. It wasn't as good as running the business or appearing prime and proper, but even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing, really. That was the whole reason why I came here. My parents saw an ad for a show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house and make more room for a new baby brother. I couldn't resist a chance for them to support me for once. At times I feel like I can't do anything right. Now I look at the show as it'll help. This is a nightmare even in my regard. Violet? Yes? I held her in my arms slightly. Yeah. You're an incredible woman and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I've seen you put fear of God into Brothers 5 and make delicious meals and some people that would probably kill for. Even if this is a nightmare, it's not going to be one where us together and we wouldn't be able to do it without you. You are too kind. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. You did nothing about me. Have you learned anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't, but I'm hoping that the master key we pilfered will help with that. I hope so, for your sake. In the event where it does provide any answer, my previous offer without finding you help outside of you and get married back to ends. Thanks, Violet. I really appreciate that. Not as much as my throat appreciates my uh, bottle of water right now, though. Anyways, I hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day. People might be efficient. We have to end it here for recording reasons. Um, but next time should be the end, should be the final episode. Or at least let's hope. Anyways, I hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day. People might be efficient. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you find love as well. Or die trying.